no matter how well or how often you clean your house, you've probably got something that's everywhere and always all around us. Yeah, Jennifer Krause is here with more on dust, and it <laughs> does seem like it's just everywhere, Jen. <laughs> yes, and who's with me? Who hates the dust? Yeah, but you know, if you don't do it, then you wind up with this all over your furniture, dust all around your house. And not only is that annoying, but there can be dangerous particles in there that can cause serious health problems. Few of us think much about dust, except how to get rid of it. On the surface, dust appears to be skin, hair, and dander. But take a closer look and you can find unhealthy substances, including heavy metal fragments like lead paint, fungi, mold, mites, microplastics, and forever chemicals for PFAS. Because we are surrounded by dust, we breathe it, which can irritate our lungs and trigger allergies and asthma in the short term. In the long term, some of the chemicals have been linked to diabetes, various cancers, reproductive problems, and other serious health issues. While battling dust is certainly a challenge, it's not impossible. A good air purifier that uses HEPA filters is designed to capture at least 99.97% of particles, 0.3 micrometers in diameter, the size of many dust particles. For a small room, Consumer Reports recommends this Germ Guardian model. And for larger rooms, check out the Blue Air Blue Pure 211 iMax. Another weapon in your dust battling arsenal, a good vacuum with tight seals and excellent filters to keep vacuumed up debris from spewing back into the air. In Consumer Reports testing, the Kenmore Elite Pet Friendly Upright checked all those boxes. Running a dehumidifier in the basement may help reduce humidity in the whole house and limit the spread of dust mites and the allergens they produce. This Medea is the highest rated dehumidifier in Consumer Reports tests. Finally, keeping your shoes in a closet or on a shoe rack near the door, swapping out fabric curtains for shades, and opting for area rugs or just bare floors instead of carpets are other ways to help you greatly reduce your exposure to dust. And Consumer Reports recommends that you not only dust, but you vacuum at least once a week to fight the dust problem. You not only want to dust on the furniture, but you want to get down below where the dust can hide, also on your drapes and in other places like shelves and at the top of, say, bookcases where dust can hide. Guys. <laughs>